Hey, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be in here. Hello everyone. So as we all know, it's getting to that time of the year where our carnivorous plants have to go into dormancy. At least our temperate ones. Now, I live in Pennsylvania, which is a temperate climate state. We get hot summers and cold, snowy winters. And while I could totally throw out my Saracenia purpureus, I'd rather not. I prefer growing indoors, and I like keeping my plants indoors. But the winter outside would be way too harsh for my Venus flytraps, and even these hybrids. But I came up with an idea. I'm in a different room. I'm in the guest bedroom. And the vent in here is blocked off so that in the summer, no cold air gets blown in here. And in the winter, no hot air is blown in here. That way we're not wasting energy heating and cooling a room that no one's using. Now the temperature in here won't drop to freezing in the winter, but it should be cold enough to get these guys to go into dormancy. Now, temperate carnivorous plants need dormancy to live long lives. You can buy a pitcher plant if you want and not let it go into dormancy and when it dies just replace it. That's absolutely fine. But if you want your plant to be around for a long time and you want to save money, dormancy is the way to go. This carnivorous plant I've had for the longest time. It is Saracenia purpurea. I've actually just had it for a year, but it's so easy and I've had multiple Venus flytraps that I've killed. Last winter, I did not let it go into dormancy. I thought I could get away with filling up the tray of water, letting that evaporate, and then waiting a couple days and then filling it back up. But Saracenia purpurea is need cold dormancies. And as you can see, it's produced a flower. And I'm pretty sure these guys are supposed to bloom in spring, so this guy does not know what season it is, and that is a problem. <laughs> but as soon as um, winter comes, this guy should be able to grow okay. He should be able to reset himself and reorganize his little plant thoughts. <laughs> if you live in a hot climate, where you don't get a cold season, there is a way you can take care of temperate carnivorous plants and get them to go into dormancy when they need to. Basically, there's multiple videos on YouTube that will show you this. I'll just give you a basic rundown. Basically, what you do is you knock the plants out of their pots, get all the soil off of them, put them in Ziploc bags, and store them in your fridge. I don't know if that would work for every single type of temperate carnivorous plant, but I've seen it work with Venus flytraps. So basically all my temperate carnivorous plants are Saracenias and Venus flytraps. This is the carnivorous plant that started it all. Here's the first Venus flytrap I've managed to keep alive. Here's a hybrid, Saracenia Dana's Delight baby Venus flytrap that I pulled off of one of my other plants. Some other Venus flytraps. Saracenia scarlet bell, very beautiful. Saracenia purpurea yellow jacket, and then a red variety of Saracenia purpurea. So just before they come out of dormancy, I'm going to be repotting most of them. I don't think I'm going to be repotting these guys from California carnivores because they look good, but some of the other ones are looking pretty poor. So I'm gonna repot those. And yeah, I don't know if this will actually work, but it's the best idea I have for now. I'm by no means an expert on this, but it's definitely worth a shot, I think. So yeah, I'll update you guys later, and I'll see you around. Bye!